Okay, guys, we finally made it, uh, what, 581 miles to Torchcraft Marine. We're pulling in to uh, look at the Mojo boat, and I promised to show you some pictures. There's Torchcraft Marine. There's their uh, headquarters, and um, we're going to pull in here and uh, go in and see what the Mojo boat looks like. Long drive. I'm tired. You can tell I've uh, had a long day. Left at 5 o'clock this morning, so... And it's now like uh, 2 30. So we'll see you inside. Okay, when you show up here to Torchcraft Marine, this is what you want to see that an empty shelf. This is an empty shelf for the Mojo boat. An empty shelf means that the Mojo boat is done. Hey guys, as promised, we're uh, at Torchcraft Marine. I'm going to give you a quick uh, little uh, shoot of um, of the, uh, the boats that are being built right now and uh, as you can see here there's parts stacked up and parts for boats there's some boats that are under construction and uh, they're working on a customer's boat right now Got a couple more boats under construction Customer boat just came in, getting some service work done to it. So they do a little bit of everything here. Beautiful boats. Each boat has a build tag on it so you can see what they're doing to it. Okay, guys, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. I've been, I, I'm so fucking excited right now because uh, this is the first, first uh, step in the Mojo H2O boat being finished. Um, you've uh, seen the journey to get here, and I, I know the suspense is killing me. It's killing everybody, but here, here it is. Here's the Mojo H2O boat. Um, the bottom half of the Mojo H2O boat. Remember. There's still a roll cage, light bars, window, um, all kinds of stuff that's going on the top of this boat. So you're only seeing the lower half of it. But once we get it back to California, we're going to get to see the rest of this this boat. And uh, and I will uh, we will post um, we will post that journey as well to the final final product. But here it is. have to use your imagination just a little bit that there's a roll cage that comes up here and across here and down here and C pillars and a window all through here uh, with windshield wipers and a light bar up here so some of the cool things um, carbon fiber handles with billet aluminum um, custom made by J Industries the uh, mounting system for the ice chest and fuel cans or dual fuel cans more billet hardware with uh, carbon fiber handles and this is real carbon fiber this is not uh, um, fake this uh, carbon fiber is true carbon um, custom air blower vents by J Industries again all these parts are now available through Torchcraft Marine who built this boat um, more billet vents. Now something that we did that I, um, I have on my uh, cobalt and I love it is these uh, quick disconnects and the quick disconnects are for your buoys. Your buoy hangs here and your quick disconnect connects right there. Snaps in, snaps out. You don't have to tie it off to the cleat. Um, it's got the cleats that uh, Troy puts on all of his boats. I love this part. Here's the custom Mojo H2O logo in the floor. We did the uh, BRP seats with the logo in them. One of my favorite parts of this boat as well. Here's the uh, stereo and uh, all the controls. Now you'll notice these buttons here 
don't have any labels on them yet. Those are dedicated to the roll cage and all of the lights and stuff, um, which we'll talk about um, in the future here. Uh, the throttle, the custom steering wheel, the billet bezel, again, uh, J Industries product and um, only sold through Torchcraft Marine. So again, if you need any parts for these things, Troy's your guy. Um, I think that's a 10 inch Garmin um, and it also has all the engine instruments and everything on it. Uh, other light switches, heat seats, seat heat switches, lower bilge heater. This boat has a heater under the dash. So we got heat and then the seat heat for the passenger cup holders moving to the front more billet handles instead of the uh, the handles that are on most of the the boats that are all welded in these are custom um, one-off handles for pulling the boat out all the uh, dual lighting the uh, American made trailer by quality aluminum boat and trailers and now we'll go to the engine cover and pull it up and show you the engine compartment. Right, I had to climb up there to get the engine compartment open. The engine compartment's open and uh, uses uh, the hydraulic rams to hold it open. Um, not a whole lot of this is new to most of you. Troy's posted a lot of videos of a lot of boats he's built. Um, one of the kind of cool things is, again is the J Industries um, uh, fuel adapter or whatever i'm not sure what he's calling that uh, item but it uses the stock jet ski um, hardware that drops into it and uh, we put his logo on it so on this particular one and also the mojo h2o logo um, that's laser etched into it um, but something we did to this boat or had done to this boat that i think is going to be a common item is you see this tube right here that is the air. Normally you'd see an air cleaner right there. And the air cleaner um, makes, it, the, the supercharger makes a lot of noise. So what we did is worked with Troy and made this custom air intake box. If you notice on the far side there, it's kind of hard to see, on the far side there, there's a, uh, a uh, dumped uh, um, vent. And the vent lets any water that might get into the air box which is drawing in through this through these two vents. And we're getting cold air into the engine compartment instead of hot air into the engine compartment. And that tube right there will evacuate any water that might get in there from doing, doing uh, tricks or whatever, um, spinning around. But uh, this boat turned out amazing. The other thing uh, Troy did for me is I said, I want a toolbox area. And he came up with this, uh, this uh, box had it powder coated and installed it put some uh, drains in the bottom of it and now I can put my tools in here or carry life vests or or uh, buoys or ropes or anything that you know um, that you need to, to take with you on the road so um, for now that concludes the Mojo H2O boat we're gonna take it to California now and um, finish putting the top on it here. And when you see it with the top on it and all of its beautiful colors, you're gonna see another a version of this boat. Uh, see you soon. Okay, guys, I left one or two fairly important things out, um, but this is the coolest one that I think uh, we figured out a way to in integrate. It's the step. Um, I watch people get in and out of these boats and it's not easy to get in and out of these boats. This. This uh, board right here is running right about at the water level and trying to get up there um, can be difficult sometimes. So we've got this fold down step from uh, right off the back of your sea -Doo. And uh, Troy made a way to fit it on there. I handed it to him and I said, you gotta figure out a way to get this on the boat. Same with the, the uh, attachments for the ice chest and the fuel. Um, that was a, uh, something that I felt was really important and he figured out a way to, to make it work and they work beautifully. So now we can take an extra 10 gallons of fuel on the back of the boat and or a couple ice chests, drinks, drinks and fuel, whatever we wanna do, um, we can take it with us. So um, 
things that I think are going to you'll start seeing more on these boats. Uh, another J industry part is uh, is um, these tie down hooks, as well as the one that's on the front, right there. And those are all billet aluminum machined. Um, they're, they're just it just takes the boat to a new level uh, in the in the quality standards. So. Um, thanks for watching and we'll uh, again see you in California. Okay, we got her off the trailer and we're uh, Troy's going to take it out and give her her first test run. Close. Here goes nothing. <laughs> 